Um, looking at your last problem from yesterday, so the DOL, so we've got our three equations here. Our first step, or the first step that I like to use, um, is to take my first two equations. So I've got negative 6x minus 2y minus z equals negative 17. I'm taking my second equation, so 5x plus, I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 here, so plus 1y minus 6z equals 19. Also going to put a 1 here in front of that z. Okay, So um, I'm looking to eliminate my x terms. So I multiply my first equation by 5. Multiply that by 5. 5 times negative 6x is negative 30x. 5 times negative 2y is negative 10y. 5 times negative 1z is minus 5z's. 5 times negative 17 is negative 85. So I've got negative 30x's, which means in order to eliminate this, I need positive 30x's. So I need to think, okay, what do I need to multiply 5 by to get positive 30? And if I multiply it by 6, 6 times 5x is positive 30x. So now I'll be able to eliminate the x's. Now I've got to keep going. 6 times 1y is 6y. 6 times negative 6z's is negative 36z's. 6 times 19 is 114. Okay, so now I'm set up to eliminate my x's, so I can get rid of those. Negative 10y's and 6y's leaves me with negative 4y's. Negative 5z's and negative 36z's leaves me with negative 41z's equal to negative 85 plus 114 is 29. I'm going to do the very same thing with my first equation and my third equation. So I'm going to have negative 6x minus 2y minus z equals negative 17. And also negative 4x minus 6y minus 6z equals negative 20. So I'm looking to eliminate my x terms, okay? I multiplied my first equation by 4. Okay, so 4 times negative 6x, negative 24x, 4 times negative 2y, negative 8y, 4 times negative 1z is negative 4z's, 4 times negative 17 is negative 68. So now I've got negative 24x's. I need positive 24x's in order to eliminate. So I need positive 24x's. So I need to think, okay, what can I multiply by negative 4 in order to get positive 24? And that is 6. 6 times negative 24, oh, excuse me, negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 4. Negative times a negative is a positive 24x. Notice we now have a negative 24x and a positive, so I'm going to be able to eliminate those later. Okay, so negative 6 times negative 4x is positive 24x. Negative 6 times negative 6y, positive 36y. Negative 6 times negative 6z, positive 36z's. Negative 6 times a negative 20 is 120. Now I'm set up to eliminate these x terms. Negative 8y's plus 36y's is 28y's. Negative 4z's plus 36z's is 32z's. Negative 68 plus 120 is 52. Okay. So now I've got two new equations. I've got to do the very same thing. So I've got my 
negative 4y minus 41z equal to 29. I've also got my 28y plus 32z equal to 52. Okay, so now I need to figure out what do I need to do to these in order to be set up for elimination. Okay, so I've got 28y's here. So let's think, is there anything that I could multiply by negative 4y in order to get negative 28y? Yeah, 7. Okay, not sure why I drew this line here. Um, so 7 times negative 4y is negative 28y's. 7 times negative 41z is negative 287z. 7 times 29 is 203. Now I'm set up to eliminate. I've got 28y's and I've also got negative 28y's, so those are eliminate. 32z's and negative 287z's. Gives me 255z. Okay, uh, 52 and 203. Add those up and you get 255. Now I can solve for z. Divide both sides by negative 255z equals negative 1. Okay, now that I know z, I can use the first equation that I found. Negative 4y minus 41z equals 29. I just brought that down. I now know z is negative 1. So negative 4y minus 41 times my z, which is negative 1, equals 29. Negative 41 times a negative 1 would give me a positive 41 equals 29. Subtract 41 from each side. Negative 4y equals negative 12. Divide. y equals positive 3. Okay, so I took my z, I plugged it into the first equation, and then I just solved for y. Now I know z and I know y, so I can use my, first, my very first equation that was given negative 6x minus 2y minus z equals negative 17. Okay, so I just used the very first equation given. I now know y is 3 minus my z, which is negative 1, equals negative 17. Negative 6x Negative 2 times 3, that'll give me a minus 6. I've got uh, minus a negative, so plus 1 equals negative 17. Uh, negative 6 plus 1, that's negative 6x minus 5 equals negative 17 plus 5 plus 5 gives me negative 6x equals negative 12. Divide by negative 6, x equals 2. So I now know my x, I know my y, and I know my z. Okay, so your answers are given in alphabetical order. So x, y, then z. x is 2, y is 3, and z is negative 1. Finally done.